Right, very good evening, uh, morning, and yes, the big spotlights at the back of the bench aren't fired up, which is why I probably look a little bit strange today. So, what can I say about the item on the bench, apart from it's large and it's grey, and it's got a meter on the front? Well, you know I've been complaining about my bench power supply being a little bit noisy and having ripple and all sorts of gunk on the on the output signal. I went on eBay. Yes, Doug, I was doing one of you. And uh, I saw this, this box, and I have been watching it for quite a while, and nobody's bought it. And I ended up making an offer on it. And, uh, yep, I got it, and uh, didn't pay very much at all for it. It was sold as working, and I'll be honest, I have switched it on already and just made sure that uh, it's not going to burst into flames live on camera which might be entertaining but not what I want to show on the video. It is an old British made 5 amp 36 volt power supply which is enough for pretty much anything I do on the bench and should be a lot cleaner because it is fully analog. It, it's it has a great big transformer, it has lots of regulation, it has lots of smoothing. This is an industrial grade laboratory power supply. So I thought I'd test it and the easiest way I could think of testing it was putting a load on it and uh, connecting it to the meter. So what I've done at the moment, and you can see it on the camera to my right, that one, my fluke meter clipped onto the output terminals, which is here. And I've got an ordinary pair of clip leads. In fact, these are the ones out of my other power supply uh, on the bench. And that's why this resistor and these clip leads were on the bench. This is a 6 ohm resistor and it's a 20 watt resistor. So using Ohm's law, if you put 6 volts into 6 ohms, your current should be 1 amp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use that meter, and I could also use the other meter, which would be a nice little setup, wouldn't it? If I use two meters, and I'm going to set this one on current, and we want this one on amps AC and DC. So can we see two meters in the shot? Yes, we can. And I'm going to clip this to that. Let's take that off of there. We don't need that. Clip that to there, get a clip lead, put that on there, put the other end on the resistor so we have a full circuit. OK, before I fire that up, I'm going to take the positive lead out and we're just going to test the, test the voltage. So I'm going to switch the meter to volts, power it up, and you can see where I've been playing with it already because um, it's almost set to 6 volts. So we do have an output. We've got a lovely little red light on the front. And I can turn the voltage up. And with that resistor not in line, just on purely the front panel, using the fine and coarse controls, I can get up to 38 volts, which isn't too bad really, I don't think. So let's bring it down. I'm going to set the fine control to the middle. I'm going to bring this down till it says 6 volts, which is about there if my eyesight is any good without looking at the meter. Uh, now we can just peak it up with the the fine control. I've got to say this is a lot nicer to use than my other one. The the variables are so much easier to, to set up. So now we've got 6 volts, and that's what we're reading on this meter. Let's now put the resistor in line and switch this to current and see what it reads. Um, and it's reading hmm, 729 milliamps, which is roughly what that meter's reading. Now, the only thing I can think of is that this resistor 
isn't 6 volt. Now there are two ways we could test this. We could actually test it using the resistance meter or we can use Ohm's law. And what we're looking for is this meter to read one amp, this meter to read one amp, and we'll find the resistance out from the voltage. So let's gradually crank the voltage up until it reads one amp. The power supply is reading exactly one amp. That meter has just dropped down, so we're, we're a natter way. So in actual fact, this resistor that's marked as six ohms, going by the fluke, is actually 8.26 ohms. So it's a little bit away from what the tolerance should be. And that's an easy way to test random resistors. Obviously, you can't do this with a quarter watt resistor because if you put an amp through a quarter watt resistor, again, Ohm's law will tell you that it will go up in smoke. We can confirm it by doubling this voltage. So 8.26, 16.52. Let's take the voltage up now, 15 volts, two amps. The meter's reading two amps. That's reading um, as close to two amps as I like. I'm not going to put vast amounts of current through this for very long because it's just going to uh, cook. So if I turn the voltage right down, the current goes down as well. Yes, to 200 milliamps. Power it off. Let everything cool down and show that we've just tested the power supply to, you know, a third of its rating, um, or you know, two fifths of its rating, if we're going to be accurate, and we've proved Ohm's law as well by checking a resistor and measuring the current with it. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.